Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to print the JSON on the console so that it can be used for JUnit test cases and for analysis purpose. Welcome to Campus Learn. Let's start. Let's create a sample model class. I'll call it as document folder fields. I'm adding a thread data to it for getters and setters and builder for builder patterns. I'm adding some parameters. First name. Last name. An address phone number year of birth I'm adding address details Let us create address details at data and builder. I'm adding flat number. Address line one address line two zip code now let's create main method Inside this, let us create Gojo with the details. I'm giving first name as Mark. Last name as Atkinson. email address as test user at the rest test.com year of birth as 1965 address details sad address details now Flat number will be one, two, three. Address line one. Church Street. Address line two. Next to bus stop. Zip code. I'll do one, two, three, one, two, three. After that, I'll do build. Build for this. So here is our Pojo ready with the data. Now, in order to print the uh, the uh, data in JSON format, we need to make use of object mapper. Mapper equals new. 
check the mapper so, and uh, for this mapper we need to enable indentation and let's print this In closing this in try catch block so yeah let's run this you can see uh, the response it's getting printed in JSON format you can make use of this make use of this for writing JUnit test cases or if you you can make use of this for analysis purpose anything as per your requirement so here is the response and if you want to add, uh, let us say that you want in a particular format, you can do that by adding JSON property. You can make like this first name. I'll just add it for two. Last name. Now let's run the main again. You can see it is getting reflected over here. First name and last name. 